Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look for you guys. And as well, I'm going to be reviewing the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. So I'm sorry I did not post a video on my channel last week. I was sick last weekend and that's usually when I record. And I actually am still sick. I don't know what I had last weekend, but whatever it was went away. But my cough stayed with me and it developed into pneumonia. And that's what I have right now, so having a good time over here but um, I decided to just stuff it <coughs> I'm dying I decided <coughs> if I can talk I decided to tough it out for you guys and record a video because I haven't put one up in a week and I just felt like two weeks with no video was way too long and also just a disclaimer before the video starts I do have really bad acne right now I haven't really been energized enough to be doing or taking care of my skin <coughs> my skin is looking a little worse than usual just a disclaimer there because my pimples are all in this area and that's where the camera is mostly concentrated and also as you guys can hear my voice is not normal right now due to me being sick so I do sound weird the entire video but hopefully you guys can look past that and enjoy this video if you guys want to see how I got this look in my review on the palette please keep watching okay guys so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yellow color from the Zulu palette and apply that right into my crease Obviously, it's from the Zulu palette because it's what I'm freaking reviewing, right? Duh. So far, I can see that this is a pretty pigmented yellow eyeshadow because I have tried a few yellow eyeshadows and they really take a lot of build up to get a a good bright color and I've really dipped in the pan three times and it's already having a pretty good color payoff now I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend the edges a little bit now I'm going to take this orange color and apply that right beneath the yellow Oh yeah, this orange color is having really nice color payoff as well. I'm going to go back in with a little more yellow and try and blend the two a little better and bring back some of the yellow color. I'll go back in with a little more orange and Blend it more up into the yellow and just keep doing this back and forth until I get a good blend that I like. So far the colors are blending together really, really beautifully. I mean, I didn't expect anything less, but I just thought I'd put that out there. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this pink color from the palette and apply that to further deepen. <coughs> further deep in my crease. I really love that these colors are showing up how you wear them. Like you can see that you can really tell that there's pink on the side compared to this one. And I really love that because a lot of colors sometimes um, tend to just mush together, you know, or sometimes they're not so pigmented and you can't even tell that you put another color on top of a different one. As you guys can see, there's like literally barely any fallout and I've seen that time and time again with these Juvia's Place palettes. Um, I believe it was the Magic palette on one of those um, darker colors they, that did have a little bit of fallout but literally for the most part and for 
most of their eyeshadows, if not nearly all of them. There's never really any eyeshadow fallout, and that's what I really love about these palettes because they're so freaking pigmented, but somehow these eyeshadows don't rarely have any fallout. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this color and apply it all over my eyelid. Ooh, that is pigmented. By the way, I'm applying it dry. I did not put any sort of um, spray on the brush. This is just dry. Wow, that is so freaking pretty. Now just for the hell of it, I'm going to go ahead and get my brush wet. And I'm going to apply it wet on the same eye and on the other eye as well, just to see if it makes a difference. I personally do see a difference applying it wet. It applies it more, the color is a bit more vibrant and it has more of that foiled sort of texture. And look, I'm just going to be the first to say packing this on my lid, I picked up a lot of product on my brush and there's still barely any fallout. That's freaking impressive. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my liner and I'm going to be using the NYX White Liquid Liner. I'm going to go ahead and take this color from the Mania MUA palette and by Makeup Geek palette and highlight my brow bone. That's the one thing I did notice is that this Zulu palette does not have a brow bone color, but I guess that's okay considering it has a whole bunch of extravagant colors that clearly are meant for the eyelid and not the brow bone, but, <laughs> but yeah, that's the one thing. The Zulu palette does not have a highlighting color for your brow bone. Well, I guess you could use the yellow as a high as a brow bone color, depending how you use it. Now I'm just going to take all the same colors from my crease on my top lid and apply that to my lower lash line. Okay, so here it is. This is the Zulu palette. And I decided to get this just because I've been wanting a really good color palette. And I've been eyeing this one for a really long time. So I knew I was going to eventually buy it. But also, it's like half the price of the other palettes. This one retails for like $17. And the other palettes are usually around $35, I want to say. I'm not completely sure. But I want to show you guys a size comparison. So this is the Magic palette, and this is the Zulu palette in comparison to the other. Despite the palette size difference, the pan sizes are the exact same. There's just um, not as many eyeshadows in, in the Zulu palette, obviously. Um, also, I just want to say that I don't think you can really see in this lighting, but the packaging is like holographic and it's so freaking cute. I love the packaging in this palette. But yes, these are the colors that come inside, very colorful, and there's more mattes than there are shimmers. There's only three shimmers in this palette, these three right here, and then the rest are all matte eyeshadows. And I'm not mad about that because um, the reason why I wanted these colorful eyeshadows was to have more 
to play with in my crease rather than on my eyelid because as you know in the other two palettes, the Magic and the Juvia's, or sorry, not the Juvia's, in the Magic and the Masquerade palette, they come with a lot of shimmery colors already. So yeah, I have not swatched these colors, actually. I only use them on my eyelids, and um, I, usually, I did talk about them during the tutorial, but as I expected, little to no fallout, extremely pigmented, extremely blendable, and they are not powdery whatsoever just beautiful eyeshadows all together so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my hand or on my arm so you guys can see what they look I'm just gonna go by row Wow beautiful right that is crazy okay I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my arm now So pretty. I'm not the best at swatching them on my arm, but you get the idea. So now I'm gonna go in with the middle three shades. Wow, so pretty. Again, not surprising, right? These three colors together are actually so pretty. It's like a maritime themed okay put these right next to the other three wow that swatch came out better than the other one but you can definitely tell a theme these three are warm these three are cool toned but as expected the colors swatch beautifully they're extremely pigmented and the formula is consistent compared to the other palette. Okay, actually, you know, I didn't notice this till now, but these are all like purpley shades, blue shades, and then orange shades. I didn't notice that till right now. All right, now I'm gonna go in and swatch the last row. And I haven't even tried the last shimmer on like anywhere either, so. We'll see how it looks. These are the last three shades. So pretty, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch them right here. Wow, this color is so pretty. It like shifts in the light. It's like a duochrome shadow. It has like a gold, uh, gold purple kind of look to it from first glance from swatching that purple on my arm it doesn't look like it's a uh, it's a little patchy but I'm not judging it because I know for a fact I'm not judging it though because I know that it's most likely going to be very amazing and very blendable and very pigmented on the eyelids we just try and blend it up a little more on my arm See, it's getting there. Just needs a little love, but it works beautifully still. But the shimmers are obviously, without a doubt, very freaking pigmented, very buttery. So these are all the colors right there. This palette literally so tiny, but it has all the colors that you could want for makeup. Like that's why I knew this palette was a must-have for me because for me it's just so hard to find such good quality eyeshadows at such a great price and I knew I wouldn't be disappointed with this purchase so that's why I was like I need to get it. so my final verdict for this product is that I really really love the palette I love the packaging it's quite small and quaint very neat very sleek but then the pan sizes are freaking huge as they always are for all of their palettes the color scheme is very beautiful there's a wide range of colors that are that range through all of the rainbow honestly and I think it's better that they did put more mattes in this palette than shimmers because me personally I think it's hard to work with well not hard but I think a palette with um, more colored shimmers would be harder to work with just because 
you can't use as many of those colors in your creases. It's easier, it's much easier to use and preferred for me at least to use matte shadows in my crease. So I really do love the scheme of this palette and the colors are so beautiful and so bright and I just can't wait to keep using this palette and making so many looks because yeah I don't know I don't know if you guys could tell by now but I really really love working with color and doing all these looks and also not even just that but this color up here really does help with the palette also because it's such a neutral color and even the yellow and the orange and the pink also you can and this uh, shimmer right here those are all pretty um, workable colors and you can really work with them if you're more of a neutral, more everyday makeup type of person. I think you can really work with those and uh, the look won't be so crazy if you're not a color person. Like As per usual, I highly recommend that you get this palette just like I love all their other ones. I love this one. So if you guys enjoyed this review slash tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in my next video.